Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. I realize every time I start these videos, I always do this. So I'm trying not to, but that's just my way of saying hi to all the people in the world that may or may not be watching. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. We are officially in the middle of the month of April. I cannot believe it. This month goes by so fast every year. Um, and it's tax day, which, you know, is usually one of those days where people are either like, oh, thank God we're there, or they're like, I hate this day, whatever. So, um, you know, happy tax day, I guess. I don't know. Now that, that they've expanded it to the, in the middle of July, I think that, I don't know if it matters. So, but either way, it's April 15th. So, um, here we are. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that life is going okay for you guys. I feel like I sound like a broken record when I say all this, but it's just been such a weird time that I feel like you just take it day by day. So, um, but I am super excited because today we're making one of my favorite muffin recipes, um, chocolate chip muffins. And these are, um, they, this recipe, I was drawn to this recipe when I read it in an article um, in one of my favorite magazines, Fine Cooking. And it was because it talked about bakery style muffins and like the big oversized muffins that you see in the bakery, which I was, you know, I love the visuals, aesthetics of, of bakery. So I was like, ooh, let's try this. And then sure enough, these are awesome, awesome cupcakes. I will say these cupcakes are best eaten the day of that you make them. So if you do not plan on eating all of them, which I do not judge if you do, um, put them in the freezer and then just rewarm them because they tend to get... I don't want to say stale, but they just kind of lose their flavor after the first day. So um, if you don't eat them all, put them in the freezer and keep them um, sealed up and then just rewarm them in the microwave one by one as you want them or throw them in the oven for, you know, five, ten minutes or something until they warm through. So, but, um, but these are really yummy um, muffins, so I'm really excited to do it. So good morning, you guys. Good morning, uh, Patricia slash Alexa and Jade. Um, good morning over to Instagram. Hello, coffee and confetti mom. Hi. <laughs> um, and so we are going to get started. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to, I'm getting better at this, preheat your oven to 350. Okay, we're good? All right. If you have a convection oven, it's 325. All right. So we are going to start by mixing our dry ingredients together in a large bowl. And you want a large bowl so that when you add, and again, this is a great recipe too because you don't need to pull out your mixer if you don't want to. You could if you wanted to, but you know, it's easier to do it this way because it really doesn't require a lot of heavy mixing. So, um, I forgot my little thing. Okay, so we're going to do this. Three and a half cups of flour. Um, and it's one. And we've got two. And we have three. And we want a half cup. That's a third. Here's my half. Okay. One half. Yeah, today we're going to use basically all of our measuring cup measurements. So because I never really feel like I ever use my third cup measuring, but today we are. So, so we want to mix that. We want to mix um, four teaspoons of baking powder, which if you recall from my previous teachings, three teaspoons equals a tablespoon. I had to memorize this stuff in culinary school, like all these measurements and all these things, which thankfully they stuck with me. But um, so three teaspoons is, uh, I'm sorry, four teaspoons is one tablespoon plus one teaspoon. Just, you know, a little trivia for the day. Uh, so that's one. And a half teaspoon, I want a teaspoon. There you are, okay. And then we want a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of salt. Do that. Half 
teaspoon right here. Okay, and then a half teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna whisk that together quickly just to kind of incorporate all the ingredients. And then we'll move on to our wet ingredients. So just a quick whisk, just to mix it all. Get those, uh, get that baking powder and baking soda kind of blended well into with the flour. All right, so now you put that aside. You're gonna take your other bowl and you wanna put in um, a, th oh yeah, I forgot your sugar, sorry. You wanna add your sugar, your, which is the third, the one and a third cups of sugar. That's one and a third. And then we're gonna add um, a cup of milk. Um, we're going to add um, 10 tablespoon or five ounces of butter that's been melted and cooled. So I melted this. I'm gonna add all that. And then we're going to add a cup of sour cream. Now, actually, somebody messaged me and said, I don't have sour cream. Um, you can use sour cream, you can use plain yogurt, you could use, if you happen to have um, creme fraiche, you could add those. But um, they messaged me and said, I, I don't have those things. Um, what can I use instead? And I just suggested adding another cup of milk if you don't have it. Um, if you happen to have a lemon or a little bit of um, white vinegar, you could make that milk buttermilk, which might be a little bit closer to uh, sour cream in terms of the tanginess. But, um, you know, I I haven't tried it with just milk, but I don't think that it will cause too much of a, of a discrepancy. It might, but I'd be curious if you don't use uh, the sour cream or the, the tangy part of dairy, if you just use milk, how it works out for you. I have some ideas on if, if it doesn't turn out exactly the same way, I have some ideas why it wouldn't, but I'm not gonna get into that now just to not create further problems. So, you know, this is part of the experimentation, right? You just try things and figure out what works and what doesn't. So, <clears throat> all right, so I've got my cup of sour cream. Just wanna get all that out. And then you want two eggs and an egg yolk. Um, and the reason why in my learnings of all things baking is egg whites tend to dry out batters. Um, so, and egg yolks enrich and tenderize. So you want enough, and I add structure as well. So you want enough egg that adds the structure and the balance, um, the structure, and the tenderizing, but you don't want so much where it dries out your cupcake. So it's fun when I read recipes now, I can start to understand like what's going on with them and why certain ingredients and certain proportions are being added. So it's just, again, a food geek thing about me. So, and then you're gonna finish this off with a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, I suppose, if you wanted to add another flavor component, like I guess you could use almond extract. Um, you could use, I guess you could use coconut extract. That could be good. Um, but you know, I don't know, like that could be kind of fun. You could add some kind of different flavoring if you wanted, but um, vanilla is always good with chocolate chip muffins and cookies and all the things. Hey Stacy, how you doing? Um, so I am just going to whisk these together just basically to blend so that that sour cream is real thick, right? And the egg yolks need to kind of be blended in. So I'm just kind of whisking these all together until it's smooth. Oh, and you've got that sugar in there too. So you kind of want to just make all of this kind of smooth. The nice thing about this recipe is, um, hey, Kathy, how are you? Um, is that 
it's kind of like those brownie mixes that you have, right, the, the store-bought, where you add your wet and then you mix it and it's like, don't over mix, like leave the lumps. That's exactly the same thing with this because the more you work your dough or your batter, it's going to be more tough. So this is a super quick put together. Uh, is that gonna stay? Is that gonna stay? Oh yeah, it's gonna stay. Um, super quick put together batter um, that you just ingredients. So. So now I'm going to pour this into my dry and then I'm just going to lightly fold it um, until basically all the um, all the liquid is kind of absorbed into the flour and there's still going to be lumps. So that's the nice thing. It's like you just kind of gently do this so that you don't overwork that flour so that your cupcakes can pop up because these are going to be those massive big uh, cupcakes that you see in bakeries. This is why I love this recipe. Not to mention it tastes really good. It's like a combination between a chocolate chip cookie and a muffin. It just has such, I think it's the butter that's in it. Um, but it's really nice. And as I said before, these are best eaten day of. Just saying. You need to eat all of them. My goodness, go for it. But if you don't want to eat all of them and you want to spread them out, then eat or eat, um, freeze what you don't use and then you can rewarm them in the uh, oven or the microwave. So, so I'm just kind of going, digging under and getting the last of the flour. Um, it's nice. It's coming up nice. And there's so many lumps, so I know not to work it too much once the batter. You can see kind of like right now, the, there's still some flour in there. Um, so I just want to kind of get that where at least the flour is absorbed, but there's tons of lumps and that's okay. Okay, so that's good. Now I want to add um, <clears throat> a half a cup of chocolate chips. And I want to add, um, okay, adding a half a cup of chocolate chips. And again, you just want to gently fold this in. There's still going to be tons of lumps. And it's a very thick batter, which is going to help produce those big fluffy muffins that we all love. I mean, I suppose you could substitute the chocolate chips for blueberries. And maybe, just got in from Coral Watches later, I love chocolate chip muffins. Oh, thanks, Keith. Yeah, same to you. Um, uh, you could substitute blueberries and lemon zest. Um, you could substitute, what else could you substitute? I don't know, what, else, what other muffins do people eat? Cranberry, I guess. Um, I think that the batter would hold up well for any other kind of filler that you want. So feel free to be creative and fun with all that. So, so now um, my batter is real thick. See, it's almost like cookie dough. I know, only half a cup, right? I was like, kind of like, ooh, not that much, but it's a really thick batter, so um, and it, this only yields 12 muffins, so you do get quite a few, um, you do get quite a few muffins, or chocolate chips within each muffin, so. Okay, so I've got a 12 cup cupcake tin. Um, you want to spray not only the insides, but you want to spray the outside, because what's going to happen is when you fill this, and you're going to fill it real high, the tops are gonna kind of come out and they're basically gonna touch each other. Um, and so you wanna make sure that this has spray so that it doesn't stick and doesn't um, tear, okay? So you just generously coat everything. Now, like I'm being real generous here because I know that these stick. Okay. Now, I usually just leave it like this, but it suggests using cupcake container holders, papers, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I'm just going to do a little experiment, and I'm going to do half with the cupcake holders and half with out and see if it makes much of a difference. I never used to use it because, quite frankly, I never used to have cupcake papers around, so I was like, well, nah, I don't have them, so I'm not going to use them. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to have... Um, an ice cream scooper that has a thing. Hey, Stacy, good to see you, friend. Um, that has like a this thing, right? The sweeper. 
Um, if you don't have it, you can use two spoons and just spoon it like you would cookie dough. But you're gonna scoop, take your, your muffin tin and you wanna do, so it's real thick, it's like a cookie dough batter, right? But basically you wanna fill each one of these so that you've used all of your batter. That's to generate these big cupcakes. Now if you would really rather just have smaller ones and more, then that's fine. But to, to do the bakery style huge cupcakes, I'm just gonna go around and fill each one first and then go back and make sure that they're all kind of topped off because this is not a very big ice cream scoop. If you have a real big one, then you probably only have to do this once. So, okay. And this is where you can kind of just be like, literally the more the merrier. Um, yeah, I've got quite a bit left. So this is gonna be, <laughs> you guys are gonna crack up when you see how much is on here. Okay. Like seriously, seriously mounds of, of cupcake. But that's why you spray the outer side so that you can maximize that big fluffy bakery style cupcakes. Oops, maybe not drop all of it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So shout out to me, what is your favorite cupcake? I'm curious. We all know that mine's chocolate chip. Um, you could add cocoa powder. I just thought about this. You could add cocoa powder to this and make it like a chocolate chocolate chip muffin. Um, the other thing, and I did mean to mention this, is um, this recipe also calls for an optional three quarter cup of nuts. And if you know me, you know my stance on nuts and baked goods, which is everything tastes better with nuts and baked goods. This is one of the very, very rare exceptions to that rule. I actually believe this tastes better without the nuts. Now, that's just me because there's a lot going on because it's it's fairly sweet and it has you know they're so big and rich and all that kind of stuff um, and I think that that these are so much better without without the uh, the nuts in them so double chocolate chip with or without mint ooh that's a good one that sounds really good actually you're giving me ideas, Stacy. So I'm almost done here, and I still have quite a bit of batter in here, which I might just say, you know what, this is good enough for these, and I might just make like one extra after these are baked. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to, I think there's like, I mean, but for reals, look, check this out. Like these are piled in. I mean, who does that, right? Can you guys see that? I've got the wrong light on for this kind of thing. So, but it's like, I mean, that's insane. And this is heavy. My favorite cupcakes, carrot cake. Yeah, those are good too. Carrot cake muffins with, oh my gosh, carrot cake muffins with like a cream cheese center. Mm, yeah, those are so good with coffee. I just love muffins and cupcakes. I'm going to have a shirt that's that is, um, I saw a shirt and I wanted to make it. It said something like, cupcakes are just muffins. Cupcakes are just fancy muffins or something like that. I can't remember what it was, but it was pretty cool. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Wow, these are so big. These are gonna like over freaking flow when I bake them. That's okay, because that is what they're meant to be. Okay, cool, I'm done with this batter, so that's good. Okay, this one might need a little, and that, nope, there we go. And this one might need a little, all right. Seriously though, we've got <laughs> mound o muffins. Maybe that's what we should call this. Have a mound o muffin, right? So you're gonna bake this for about a half an hour. This is gonna take a little while because they're so big. Um, they're going to get golden brown, um, bake at 350. They're going to get golden brown and um, just have that beautiful hue of a muffin. 
And then once you uh, they're finished, then you wanna let them sit in the pan. This is the important part. Will you sprinkle with some coarse sugar on top before going in the oven? You could, um, you could, Keith. Um, I don't because you'll find that these things are really sweet. Um, but you could for texture, absolutely. Or you could, if you were like, oh, I really want some nuts in, but I don't know I want all the nuts. You could sprinkle a little bit of nuts on top. That could be good, yeah. Um, and in fact, I think that the original recipe suggested putting a glaze on afterwards, which I was like, okay, <laughs> like let's appreciate the simplicity of this. So I don't actually add glaze if you want to, by all means. You can use the glaze recipe that I, um, I gave you for the cinnamon rolls last week, and that would be just as easy. So, but um, you wanna bake these at 350 for about a half an hour, 35 minutes, and then you wanna let them sit so that they cool so that when you go to pick them up, since they are going to spread all over the top, that they don't tear. And then you're gonna have these gigantic, beautiful cupcakes, not cupcakes, muffins, fancy cupcakes, or muffins are, cupcakes are fancy muffins, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so you're gonna have these beautiful bakery, uh, bakery style muffins that are just divine. And seriously, play with the ingredients. I mean, like I said, I just realized that you could add you could add um, chocolate, you could or add orange zest to this. You could please make the carrot cake cupcakes with the cream cheese frosting. You got it, I'll add that next week, how's that? Because I haven't done carrot cake in a long time, so that'll be a good one to try. Um, so anyway, yeah, so you could add tons of different elements to this. I mean, somebody threw in a chocolate chocolate chip with mint. Oh, yes, definitely. Um, so I'm excited about these. I hope you guys try these and see what you think. Let me know because they're awesome. Um, and I'm gonna throw these in the oven and I will post a picture when they're done. Actually, I'll post a picture after this before I put them in the oven to show you how big that they are and then the after. So hopefully they don't go all over the place. I might put a little uh, tray underneath just in case some of the batter might go, but it's so thick that I don't think it's gonna spread too much. So. Um, yeah, so that's what we got going on today. Chocolate chip muffins, yeah, yeah. Um, tomorrow we're gonna be decorating cupcakes, but we're gonna do a different one than what we've done in the past. I showed you some basic piping techniques in the past, and we're going to do um, like a floral bouquets on cupcakes tomorrow, and just some fun different shapes that you guys can play with that, you know, if you're looking for something new to do, or you always wondered how people do them when you see them on Instagram or YouTube, we're gonna play with some of those, so that'll be fun. And then Friday, I'm gonna send you guys the recipe today, I just realized, I had to make sure I could find my ingredients before I sent the recipe, so we're going to do biscotti. And if you've never done biscotti, it's it's much easier than people think. The only thing is, is that you have to bake it twice. Um, you bake it as a log, and then it gets brown and, and kind of baked through, and then you slice them, and separate them and bake them again so that the insides get nice and crispy. So that's what I got going on. I'm gonna go throw these in the oven. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy these, because I'm so gonna enjoy these, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, they're awesome. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow and have a great rest of your day. Stay healthy and safe and sane and all the things. We're getting through this and know it's hard. We are all feeling it, trust me, and it will get better eventually. So, love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. Please share with anybody you think would love to learn a little bit more about this, and I will see you guys tomorrow.